Hi, this is our Daily Tarot. Welcome back. I know I've been away for a few days. I was down in the city helping my friend with a bunch of work on their property. And my days was my day was pretty full from 7 a.m. to 10 at night. So I didn't actually have the time available to make my daily videos. Alas, I am back. And of course, I just wanted to mention that I do appreciate the donations and contributions to the production of these daily videos because they do take quite a bit of time. And I've been considering um, shifting everything over to more of a Patreon situation, um, more so so that people can have a way to easily contribute to these videos rather than having to go and um, go on to a certain site to do it individually. Um, so yeah, that's I'll have that link below if you are able to do that at this time. Let's go ahead and jump into today's tarot. We have some interesting cards coming up. The opening card that we have is this Two of Wands energy. So a lot of reflection going on in regard to where we put our will and where we put our effort. And even though we feel this call to go do something new and to move our energy into a new space, there's something that's still kind of anchoring our attention behind us that's reminding us that there's things that we need to take care of there's you know t's that we have to cross i's that we have to dot so to speak there's matters of practical concern that we can't actually give our full effort to this call of the wild unless we actually tend to them so today a lot of our energy and effort will be tending to these things that we still have to take care of now, the challenge that we have today is also a number two, a two of pentacles. And in this situation, we are balancing and finding harmony in the midst of chaos. We see a person with two coins, large size coins, one in each hand, and they're walking this tightrope with this swelling body of water behind them. And so our challenge today is how do we find balance in the midst of all this change, which is a big deal particularly for those of us that have, you know, Taurus suns or Taurus risings or have a lot of earth energy in our chart, particularly because Uranus has been in Taurus for the last number of years. We also have the sun that's about to be in conjunction with, with Uranus and the North Node is also up in Taurus as well. So we have all of this energy that's pointing to where we need to be putting our direct, our attention in the midst of change. And so how do you find harmony in the midst of everything that's moving and shifting all around you? And it can be kind of a riddle sometimes because our mind likes to measure things and value things and, you know, see like how we feel in a situation. And with everything that's been going on over the last couple of years, it's you know, it wouldn't be foreign to me that any of us would take it personally. And yet it's happening to everyone, right? So how do we find balance in the midst of change? Where do you find your own anchors while everything is moving and shifting around you? That's our challenge today. And the way that we're going to get through that challenge is actually listening to our emotional intelligence. We have the page of cups sitting here. I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups sitting here. And they're walking across or approaching this body of water that looks like some kind of stream or river of some sort. And how do you listen to your senses and your body's somatic intelligence that's telling of a situation and how to respond to a situation? You know, like, have you ever walked through a city and you know there's certain paths you might have taken before but there's some intuitive hit that says uh let's not go that way today let's go a different way how do you listen to this in intuition and how does that help us get through and maneuver through all of this shift that we're all working through that's the way that we're going to be getting through that now the overall outcome that we have for today is the Hermit card. And this is pretty interesting to me because we have so much energy going on in Pisces right now, and yet the Hermit shows up, which is on the opposite side of Pisces. And it's 
reminding us that we do have to go inward. There is a period of reflection that we're in today that's uh, simulating information, uh, taking information in, kind of sorting through what, what works, what doesn't work. And it's as if we are figuring out where to put our attention. Because consider that Virgo is a sign that is the sign that's associated with being overly critical of oneself and kind of picking things apart and looking at things in a very um, detailed and attentive way. And so what do we gather from this situation that we're all in? And what can you gather that you can take with you? Now, the realm of the mind can be a tricky realm sometimes, especially if we get fixated on things uh, that are uh, self-defeating or limiting in a lot of ways. And yet the mind is pretty interesting in its elemental quality because it can shift really easily just based on its impressions, which is why it's so important for us to give ourselves impressions by way of what we see and what we speak about and give ourselves these impressions that are actually nurturing for us and that are practical and useful. And what does it mean, you know, to be in service? Because Virgo is also this energy of being in service. And how are we going to show up in the world? And it's, it's so tricky, you know, because it's like we've been conditioned our whole lives that there's like this pinnacle we're going to reach and like once we get there, everything will be fine. And that's such rubbish, especially when we beat ourselves up for things that shift that we have no control over. And so what can we put our attention on that actually will help us progress rather than uh, beat ourselves up? You know, where do we turn the light on? And I think that within all of this shift and this change and all this chaos that we're in, it really does force us to refocus on our values and how we manage this, you know, system that we're all in by way of mind, body, spirit, and will. And I think today we're all coming to terms with the fact that where we put our mind and where we put our attention is a pivoting point, depending on what we do with it. So, interesting cards today. Hermit. Hermit. 